I was, um, so, <laughs> today, um, today, okay, I'm still recording. Today's, um, vlog, um, my cousin Amaya is going to be doing, um, my stepsister's, um, hair, uh, hair tutorial on the waterfall braid. Okay, so, just watch them. This is Saturday's vlog. Hey guys, it's Amaya, and I've got Brianna here, and today we're going to be doing a hair tutorial called oh the waterfall. Guys. Hope you like it. Today we're going to be using, um, number one mousse, extra firm control. From? From Bobby, Tresemme. Bobby pins, a, a comb, a, a brush, I mean, and a nodding brush, and a comb. Oh, and before we start the tutorial, say hi to my little brother, my little cousin, and my other little cousin. Hi. They're, they're playing my DS. I had to keep them quiet. Okay, so let's start the hair tutorial. So first, what we're going to do is what, we're going to take the unodding brush, and we're going to comb through her hair. Since you see that she has a lot of long hair. Indeed. We're going to have to unknot it first to make sure that none of the tangles are in it because while we're doing the waterfall braid, it will be tricky if she has lots of knots in it. So first, just start unknotting your hair. Make sure you get the backs of it. Even though we're not going to be using it, just make sure you get it. Okay. Okay. So now we have done, we have unknotted her hair, and we are going to put the unknotting brush back. We're going to get the comb, and as you can see, like right here, where you see like her scalp, right here we're going to make a part, and we're going to let it fall to the right side, or the left, it doesn't really matter, whichever way you want to start it, whichever way is easier for you. You're going to comb to the left or the right. And then after, you're going to part going down. So you already parted right here, going to the right. Now you're going to part. Now you're going to part going down like this. And we're going to have a little section right here, as you can see. But I'm going to make it a little bigger just to make the braid have more volume and texture to it. There. Now we are going to start the braid. We are going to first fix this really quick. And now we're going to comb the hair through right here. Then we're going to separate three parts as if we were doing a regular braid. We're going to separate three parts. One, two, and three. We have three sections. We have section one, section two, and section three. Now, we're going to start a regular braid. A regular braid. We're going to do it really, not really tight, but as tight as you want it. We're going to take a section from the top, only from the top. Don't start at the bottom yet. From the top, put it in with the middle section that we just braided. Put it in with the middle. And when you're done, you're going to regular braid and let that piece fall. Well, yeah, let that piece fall. So, we have one piece fell already. Now, we're going to take another section from the bottom to replace that piece. So, we're going to go like this. So, now, we have three sections all over again. So, we're just going to keep on doing that to the whole head. So, you're just going to have to pull that down there. Then, we're going to take a section from the top. Add it in the middle. Let it fall. See? See, like, you can see that you have the braid and you have the pieces hanging. You can't really see it now, but at the end of the tutorial, you'll probably, um, figure out or see it. Let him play. Let him play. Now, we're going to Let him play. replace that third piece no, you didn't and braid. Just get it. And braid. We're going to braid it. Then... As I said, wait, if you need to, you can tug on the little pieces so it doesn't be sticking up like that. 
so there and at the end if you want you could comb it down put some hairspray or anything on it then you're going to take a section from the top again add it to the middle braid and let it fall and that is what we're going to be doing for the wait, whole tutorial she's going to take turns wait If you can see, it's kind of coming out like a waterfall now. Then we're going to take a section from the top, add it in the middle, braid, and let it fall. So, it probably would take like about, um, it, I don't know how much it would take for you if you have like long or short hair. It usually works with like medium hair, medium sized hair, so it's better if you like use long or medium. If you have short hair, it's probably not going to come out as good. It's probably going to come out a little messy. But as you can see, it's coming out fine with her hair. <coughs> Thank you. Yep. Well... It's probably going to take really long for her hair, though, because she has, like, all of this to go still. So, you guys, if you're watching this, you might have, if you want, you could fast forward it, or you could just keep on watching the whole thing. It's probably going to take long, though, so if I were you, I would just, like, skip it a little bit. Um. Advertising time. So... We are advertising for Breeze Air Freshener Air Effects. So, they have it a lot in, in my house. In my house, my mother buys these all the time. So, make sure you get it, okay? It's really good air freshener and it smells so good. Beautiful.